Hello, and welcome to episode 2 of my Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft SMP. I am KHM, and as you can see, we are down in my uh, uh, new uh, uh, branch mine. There we go, although I haven't branched off of the main uh, path yet. But I wanted to show you guys this. Do, do, do the first diamonds I found on the server. So, well, it's only two, but it's a start. One more, and I can start digging up obsidian. In preparation for getting a uh, enchanting table. Now, the other players probably already have enchanting tables and XP farms and things like that. And would probably be more than happy to let me use them. But, I want to get my own. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit more mining. As you can see, we've got lots of redstone, some gold and stuff. need gold my single player one. Anyway, I'm going to do some more mining, and I'll be back once I have something interesting to show. Alright, as you can see, I managed to get eight diamonds. Woot! That's uh, more than enough for a pick and a uh, enchanting table. And my plan was I would make an enchanting table and enchant my pick with the first 30 levels that I got. So you can see I'm at level 29. But then I remembered that uh, in order to do that you need uh, bookcases, which require books. And books require leather. Sucks they changed that recipe. So. In order for that, I need a cow farm to get the 45 uh, leather pieces that I need. And uh, to get that, I need a, a proper wheat farm. What I've got going on down there is nice and all, but it doesn't quite produce the amount that I really need. So first thing I need to build is a wheat farm somewhere. I was thinking like maybe over there on top of that mountain or something. Not sure where I want to put it. Or the uh, cow farm. Hmm. Another possibility that I've uh, been thinking of is uh, putting the wheat farm like in the mountain there. I don't know. On the one hand, it kind of feels like it should be out in the open, on top of a mountain. On the other hand, it feels like uh, because I'll probably be needing to use artificial light anyway, I should stick it underground or something. Hmm. Don't know. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and think about it a little bit more and plan it a bit off camera and I'll come back once I'm ready to start. Alright, well, uh, the getting to level 30 he, uh, in experience uh, isn't so much of an issue now. Um, I was walking over to my mine and accidentally fell off my sky bridge to my death. So, uh, no longer at level uh, 29. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so I think I am going to go ahead and just build my farm. Let's climb up here. I think I am going to go ahead and just build my farm right over there. Um, got some stone cooking up so you can turn that into bricks to make uh, the wheat farm with. And I'm thinking like over there I'll have the cow farm. I want my animal farms away from where I'm going to be at for the most or most of my time, so I don't have to listen to them. Not that it actually bothers me all that much, but, you know. Um, so I got stone cooking up right now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do some mining. Alright, I've been kind of thinking about how I want to build this farm. Uh, originally I was thinking, like, over there. Then I noticed uh, this nice slope over here. And, uh, occurred to me how nice it might look uh, to build the farm over there. And, uh, as you can see, I've already started to uh, measure things, dig out a trench there. 
Now, unfortunately, the wheat farm is going to pretty much destroy <laughs> this whole hill. As that, uh... The, uh... Farm will go up one block every four blocks over, approximately four or five blocks over. And this is clearly going up one block every one or two blocks. So it's just going to completely wreck this uh, uh, slope, which is a shame, but after a little bit of contemplation, I've decided, you know. Heck with the way things are. We'll change them. I'll just go ahead and just build the farm there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be using uh, stone brick. I've got quite, a quite an amount cooked up. And uh, ready to go. Can get over that there. Okay. Yep. Got lots of stuff cooked up here. Toss this over here. Actually, I'm gonna toss this over there as well. Not that you need to see me tossing that. Oops. Yep. All right, and it's all cooked up and everything. So, hmm. I think about how I want to record this. I'm thinking uh, uh, I'll make a, another montage of my making it. But uh, we have quite a bit of territory that needs to be cleared out there. I might just make it off camera and show you guys in different steps. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So, uh, I'll get to work on that. Alright, I have done quite a bit of work here, as you can see. I've uh, made this nice farm. Now, my original plan was to go all the way up the mountain, but uh, I think we had enough space here as is. And this actually looks pretty good from over there. Uh, it's the exact same uh, design that I used in my single player. It's just uh, we got eight blocks of grass here going to this uh, canal. Um, underneath the lips of each layer, there's water to uh, keep it moist or keep the uh, yeah. And uh, up here I'm going to be building a row of pistons. Hmm. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. I think I'm probably going to have like pistons here, some water behind it. Um... Or maybe like pistons here. Hmm. Either way, we need water source to be on the same level, but uh, I think right about here we need water source blocks to uh, keep the tilled soil here moist. Uh, I want to hide the pistons behind blocks, which means that... Uh, Whatever's underneath of it would not be directly, or directly underneath the sky. It would look kind of weird. If I put the pistons here, that wouldn't work because the water here would just flow down. If I put the pistons here, that might work. But then we'd only have like one block space there. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna except the one block space since that uh, works and uh, I'll just go ahead and replace all this with the uh, stone bricks and I'll work on this off camera all right figured I'd show you guys what it looked like from a distance as you can see I put some fence around it so that animals wouldn't go in there had some problems with sheep exploring the farm and trampling the uh, uh, the tilled ground. I've also planted some wheat as you can see and we'll just head over there and have a look at the uh, piston mechanism okay Oops. I guess it just took some fall damage now I'm going to temporarily put some dirt here so I don't accidentally kill my crops when I'm playing around with the uh, triggering mechanism above 
Uh, have some crops planted, not quite a full uh, field yet. Up here we have uh, pistons. Behind these blocks, as you can see. This redstone signal is keeping them extended. They're sticky pistons and they're connected to these blocks here. When the uh, redstone power is cut from them, the pistons with, uh, pull back and water is released to auto-harvest plants. It's using the exact same design that I used in my uh, single player world have this little bit of redstone coming down here to make sure that the uh, piston that's underneath the repeater is powered. It's uh, uh, 17 blocks wide, and I'm not sure how many blocks down, but it should be enough to produce pretty much all the wheat I'll need, more than likely. Next, I need to uh, put in some lights. I've got uh, a small pumpkin farm growing up there to get pumpkins to create a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns, which I will use to light up the uh, fields. My original plan was with torches, but they don't really have the reach that I would like. And uh, they uh, don't look nearly as good as the pumpkins, I think, will. So, I guess I'll go back to growing pumpkins, and uh, we'll be back once I have a bit more to show. Oh, um, I'm planning to put like a shell over that to hide the redstone later on. But I'll do that after I get the lights, probably. Alright, I have completely lit up the farm now. As you can see, got uh, jack-o'-lanterns all over the thing. Um, for the shell, I'm kind of thinking I'll have a, a stone wall sort of thing there and then like put dirt over the top of it and let grass grow so it looks like it's kind of in the side of the mountain. Um, so I guess we'll see how that turns out. I think I'm also going to put a gate right about here so I can quickly get inside, in and out of here. Grab some more gate and dirt. I was looking for that crafting table earlier. Alright, I have built the shell on there. That kind of... eh... could be better. But it's kind of interesting. Might actually want to change the side there to make it look a little bit better with the, a uh, little bit more like it belongs with the cliff there. But, uh, other than that, it appears to be fairly, uh, good looking and functional. The fa I mean, the farm overall. Uh, I put a fence up there, as you can see, to prevent mobs that spawn up there from falling into the uh, farm. So, now that I have a good uh, source of wheat, we need to... I seriously did that again, didn't I? There we go keep forgetting to switch over from the speakers to the headphones. Okay. Every time I see that cow, it seems like it's a little further down. You can go join him. Anyway, um, so next we need to come up with a cow farm. I was thinking like over there or something like that. I don't know, I'll have to kind of think about the positioning of that a bit. Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe there somewhere. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to think about it off camera, because my thinking about it is usually pretty boring. So I'll be back once I have an idea of where to put that. Alright, I have uh, lit up this little island over here and built this wooden bridge. And I think I've decided that I'm going to build the cow farm right there. Now, the reason for that is I want the cow farm to be, you know, relatively close by so that the animals can move around and do stuff. Um, since, unlike uh, the wheat farm that I have over there, the cows actually require me to be in fairly close proximity in order to function. Um, in preparation for building a cow farm there, I have gathered two cows over here, and I've already started to breed them, and for some reason we have a cow that is not in the pen. But that's fine, I guess. Um... Now, what I have in mind uh, uh, for a design is, well, hmm, might be easier just start building it and show you guys. Right, I'm going to clear out some of this dirt and get a nice space ready to start building, and I'll be right back. Alright, I've uh, cleared out a little space for that, and whoa. <laughs> Okay, 30 frames per second is noticeable to me. Anyway, I've cleared out a little space down there where the cow farm is going to be, and I've created this uh, path to get down, well, to get up and down. The ladder is just temporary. I'm planning to have like some sort of proper staircase or something later on. But this way I don't have to ninja my way up the side of the cliff with a bucket of water, like what I have been doing. Stairway that goes down here. Okay, and uh, how this is going to work is there. this is going to be a 3D pole. The cows will be kind of mushed up in here. This is going to be more of a functional farm than one that's uh, for looks like what I built in my single player world. Um, at the very bottom layer I'm going to have pistons. And uh, cows are going to sit in front of that. There's going to be a, uh, well, let's pull out some dirt and I can show you guys. It's going to kind of look something like this, where you have a, a block here, but nothing in these two spots. Actually, it's going to be another 3D pole there. Cows are going to sit in front of here. Uh, because the hitbox of the cows prevent them from going through this space, They'll be stuck here, but the babies will be able to fit through with no problem. So, uh, I can breed the cows, and some of the babies will stay up here, but most of them will fall down. Although, if I want them all to fall down, that's what the pistons are for. I'll be able to trigger them, and I'll push all the babies down into a uh, killing pit, uh, similar to what I have in the uh, version that I have in my single player uh, game. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and montage this, since I think that would make it easier to understand what exactly is going on here.
Okay. Now that that's all been built, I have to figure out how to get the cows down here. Hmm. I think I have an idea. I think I might be able to use a bucket of water to do the job. And I think I should take them one at a time. And separate them a bit like this. Perfect. Now we just pull out the axe. Let one out. Alrighty then. Line this shot up a bit. Perfect. No, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> I have no use for you now, cow. Okay. Maybe a little bit more careful precision. That's why I got more than one cow. Or more than two cows up there. In case I screw up, I can simply breed more. Yeah, let's get some light here. Where are you going? Okay, now get into there. Okay. That'll prevent me from accidentally drowning the cows. Alright. Come on, cow. And down you go. Come on, grab that. Now is not a good time for you to learn how to swim. Perfect. Just remove these signs for no particular reason. Actually, I might even end up regretting removing them. But where did my switch go? 
Perfect. Now the signs will be collected. And let's see if I can get these things to breed now. Am I not reaching them? Oh, that's not weak. There we go. I must not have been able to reach them then. Or something. Perfect. I'd call that a successful test run. Sweet. So now I'll just uh, bulk up the uh, number of cows I have here by slowly breeding them up. And uh, we'll use them to farm. Awesome. I declare this cow farm functional. Although there's some aesthetic changes that still need to be made. That shouldn't be too hard. And uh, I think this is probably a good point to end this episode. So, uh, once again, I am KHM, and we'll see you in the next episode.